Welcome back to the Shattered Relics League. Yesterday, despite a bit of a sleep in, we managed to hit rank 20 and unlock a bunch of content within the game. The goal today stays the same. I haven't slept yet and it's time to keep on progressing. We're starting off today's video by using some of these renowned points we stacked up yesterday to unlock fire making and wood cutting. Okay, and that is Monk's friend completed five points just like that as well. 31 wood cutting now. Um, probably just gonna ch chop some trees and try and get some fire making done. Damn, another five points just like that. Chop some logs with a steel axe. I didn't even know that was a task. Oh shit, another five points from obtaining a bird's nest. They're just coming through. Awesome. We're at what? 2180. 30 fire making. Let's go do sea slug to get ourselves some fishing XP so we can start AFK again editing some videos. 30 fire making. Let's go. Sea slug completed. I didn't even know that gave me any points. Five points. Nice. What fishing level did I get me? 45? Oh shit, oh shit, I got a fragment. What's it saying? You can't break this fragment at the moment. What are you saying? You unlock the chef's catch fragment. What the hell does that do? I think that might be really good for fishing. I hope so. Chef's catch. Cook caught fish. 20% chance that any fish caught are cooked. Grinding cooking experience regardless of level requirements. Dude, that'll be awesome. Do I have cooking unlocked? That is, I do. That's actually awesome. Let me go put that on. Uh, a production fragment. Interesting. What, do, what is it? Dine and dash. What the hell does that do? I've never dined in- Oh, chance at extra cooked food. Cool. I will uh, keep that on. Fragment, actually, for harvesting. Let's see what we got. Oh, catch of the day fragment. I swear I had that earlier. I literally swear I've already got that. I have no idea. Oh, I got the chef's catch. Now I can get rare drops from fishing. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Got another fragment for production. Dine and dash. Oh, we gained some XP in it. Sick. Damn, I got another fragment. Dine and dash. Let's go. Catch the 50 salmon toss done. That's another 25 points. We're at 2250 right now. Harvesting fragment. What we saying? Oh, 500 XP to my catch of the day. Nice. Damn, my golden brick road fragment is now level 2. That's sick. Okay, okay. Another harvesting fragment. Some more in catch of the day. All right, I'm going to unlock strength and quest waterfall while I watch. Okay, and this should be waterfall quest completed. I'm excited to see what... Okay, 50 strength just like that. 64 attack, 50 strength. Absolutely take that. Come on now. And what? Oh, reach combat level 50. 25 points just like that. We're at 2275 now. We're going to push towards this tier 5. Okay, that is defeating a fire giant, which I think is a task in Asgarnia. Yeah, it better be. Otherwise, that would have been a significant waste of time. 2300 now. 700 points until tier 5. Let's push this out. All right, that's Restless Ghost done. 1k prayer XP2. Getting me to 41 prayer. Not just 43 just yet. Okay, I'm going to do Plague City next. So I'm just going to unlock mining because I don't want to mess up and not get the mining experience from that. 10 uh, little shmoomy points on mining. Let's go. All right, that is Plague City completed. Please tell me I unlocked mining. I did. That is 33 mining just like that. Thank God I did that. Um, I might honestly unlock Prifnidus right now. I'm not too sure. Let's check. Song of the Elves cost 53 points. I'm going to do it. Here we go. 53 uh, Sages Renown points. I've got 78 right now. That is a big, big cost. Big, big spend. But it unlocks Canifus as an area. It unlocks Prifnidus as an area. And we're going to be able to get a fuck ton of points. I was just heating up my first meal of the day and I just mined 50 iron ore. Oh, I just completed a medium toss. Maxed out one fragment. What did I do? Oh, my smooth criminal fragment is now level three. That's pretty sick. Cool. So I just got up to 2350 points just like that. Okay, and that was pickpocket and all 50 times for 50 points. We take those. 2400. Pretty sure talking to this girl gives me some, gives me some amount of points. Am I, am I right? Oh, yeah. 25 points just like that. Just from talking to her. Okay. Moss giant completed or defeated. And that is what? 50 league points from a fucking moss giant. Say less. Okay, and that is an elf or an Irowith warrior down or whatever. That should be 25 points just like that. Nice. 2,500 points now. Crystal teleport seed. Is that what I need? Thank God, bro. Okay, this should be another task to charter to port tires. 3.2k. Bit expenny. How much points does it give us? Uh, 50 league points. Okay, we'll take that. Teleport to Letya using this teleport crystal should be another couple of points. 25 league points just like. i think opening this bank will give me some points too i'm at 2575 right now and that is another medium toss so that's another 25 points i'm at 2600 just oh damn look at me go 25 points all right i caught a crimson swift and i caught a bird those are two easy tasks that's 10 points right there uh 2635 all right and i just equipped a full rupia for 25 points 25 points off a of fucking off the cannabis course okay and there should be a swamp lizard plus any lizard which i think is two toss if i'm not mistaken yeah 50 points just like that 2760 now oh shit let's go 2810 now 50 points from that okay, let's see if i just get 25 points oh i got 50 points one medium combat achieve uh whatever i did do it yeah let's go and i got a prayer pot too unidentified fragments skilling i got the hot on the trail is that the clue scroll one what is that 
2% chance of receiving a clue by lighting a fire. Don't mind if I fucking do, bro. Oh, I just got a scroll box. Let's go. Just got another uh, harvesting fragment. What is it? Home wrecker. What does that do? Home wrecker. Interesting. Home wrecker increases bird nest chance from wood cutting. Oh, okay. I guess that's cool. That is 100 willows chopped. I honestly thought I did this earlier, but I didn't. And that is 25 points. And if I burn 100 logs, I think that would be 25 points as well. And that is burn 100 willow logs, which is another 25 points. 29.10, 90 points away from tier 5. Equip some steel armor. It was a task. Damn. I have not even done that. Five points. Alright, I got an easy casket. Ooh, I gained a unique item and I completed an easy clue. That's what I like to see. It's only 10 points, but it does give me renown points and it's nice to do. 75 points until tier 5. Okay, using a dusty key. I think this gives me points right there. Yep, that is five points just for opening this place. All right, five points just for opening this place. I'm going to kill some blue dragons because I still need 43 prayer if I'm going to do monkey madness one and stuff. And there are some points behind just getting prey melee. So yeah, I don't know how many dragon bones I'll need. Honestly, probably only two or three, but yeah. Feet a blue dragon, another five points. I'm at 2935. While I'm here, I might as well just kill a black demon. It is an easy task. Only gives us five points, but hey, it adds up. 2940, nice. Let's go get this prayer level. Let's go, 44 prayer. Pray melee. 25 points. I'm legit 35 points away from tier five now. Should get five points for chartering a ship to Fort Fatty Mattis right now, I'm pretty sure. Am I mistaken? I'm not, five points just like that, yo. Defeat a werewolf, five points. All right, let's go do fucking, what's it called? Uh, Demon Slayer, shout out 92. Yo, I am less than 600 subscribers away from 100k subs, so if you are enjoying the League's content, I'm gonna be daily uploading, so click that button down below. It really helps support me out, and guys, come on, I want 100k subs. All right, that is Demon Slayer completed, which gets me to my third, third thousandth, three thousandth, three hundred thousandth point. I just like, I don't know, did I just develop a list? I don't know, but I just unlocked the Tactical Duelist Fragment. I have no idea what that means. Maybe that's like a combat thing. Melee weapon charges. Melee weapon charges have a 20% chance to be saved. What weapon of melee? I guess like what, like a scythe? That could be cool because blood runes are hella expensive. Either way, 3,000 league points. I now have five fragment slots. That's pretty sick. I also have a much bigger XP drop, uh, XP buff with this, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. My league XP multiplier goes from 8x to 12x. I got the random combat fragment, which is nice. And it means I can have five fragments at all times. Very, very nice. I just got a skilling fragment while doing a uh, MM1. Enchanted Drawer. Finally some XP in that. 500 out of 8k XP. Surely that's it, right? Surely. GG, mate. Let's go. Okay, and that is Monkey Madness 1 completed. Let's go claim some fat XP rewards. All right, let's get strength and stamina up. This should give us like a pretty high HP level from 45 HP. I'd really hope so. Strength level is only 51 as well. We're 11 defense too. I'm currently 56 combat. So let's see what this jumps up to. 1.3 mil XP drop from level 56 to level 80. 58 defense, 65 HP, 69 attack, 66 strength. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. That gives us 25 points for reaching total level 750 and 25 points for reaching combat level 75. We're now at 3,050 points. Oh damn, those fat XP drops gave me a combat relic. Vino Master. Bro, what is a Vino Master? Apply poison and poison immunity. Oh, your attacks have a chance to inflict three poison damage. Okay, that's pretty cool. And the level ups make you immune from poison. That's sick. Okay, let's break the bank a little bit and let's buy a D skim. One D skim, thank you very much. Let's get out of here before we equip it. What are we saying? Equip a dragon scimitar, equip a dragon weapon. That's a medium task and a hard task that gives us 75 points. I'm pretty sure I don't want to, you know, don't want to spread false information. But if I use this skim spec, that is another medium task for 25 points, putting us up to 3150. Okay, it is time to unlock another skill. I'm going to be doing the knight's sword, which means I want to unlock smithing. Because if I complete that quest without getting that fatty XP drop, I'll be very, very upset. Okay, and this is Knight's Words completed. Let me just double check that smithing is unlocked. It is. We're about to get a fatty XP drop on the times 12 XP drop. 1 to 54 smithing, just like that. Unfortunately, no fragment from that, unfortunately. I really wanted to get, like, a gathering fragment. But hey, I'll take the smithing level. Alright, another 30 points down the drain. We're unlocking crafting. Okay, murder mystery completed. 1 to 32 crafting, just like that. Don't mind if I do. Okay, this should be elemental workshop 1 completed. Use the bar on one of the workbenches. And this should shoot up my crafting and my smithing even more. Yep, my smithing to 57 and my crafting to 47. Drink poison chalice. Five points, bro. Come on now. Elemental workshop two completed, which is actually a medium task. I did not know that. So that's 25 points 
3,180 league points, 61 smithing, 55 crafting. I've never even touched those skills. Very, very nice. 32k for a rune pickaxe. Which is costly, fam. Damn, equip a rune weapon is, uh, what's it called? 25 points, didn't realize. I'm at 3205. Mine some ore with a rune pickaxe. That's another 25 points, putting us to 32330. 3230. Bro, I got another Alchemaniac fragment. I thought it was the one. Wait, I just got another fragment for harvesting. Molten Miner, is that the one I need? So with this Molten Mine fragment, I finally got the full set effect of the Personal Banker, which allows anything obtained from fishing, woodcutting, mining, or farming to go straight to my bank, meaning for the first time ever in over a day, I could take an AFK break to start editing my videos. So now that I've got the AFK relic unlocked, I've actually been able to chill out and AFK a bit, and I've actually got a little bit of a pack opening for you guys. I've just been fishing here. I'm now at, what, 82 fishing. I'm about to get my last fragment in a couple pieces or so, but I just want to carry on and get, move on to Haunted Mine maybe so I can keep, like, progressing the account. So, let's get this pack opening going. Oh, I, I, got, I can't be fishing when I do the pack opening. Chef's Catch fragment, 2.7k. Grave Robber fragment, 5.8, 5 out of 8k. 1 out of 8k, catch of the day, 7 out of 8k, message in the bottle, 66, we're gonna, we're gonna max out catch of the day, yep, level 3, it's maxed out, golden brick road, 4.5k, chef's catch, almost at 4k, maybe it's about to hit it, yep, 4.2, 4.7, 5.2, barbarian pest wars fragment, what is that? Damn, that's actually sick. Barbarian Assault points, Pest Control points, and Soul Wars Zeal points received are boosted by 100%, by 300% at level 3. Damn. Grave Rogber, 1.5 out of 8k. Chef's Cash, almost at 6k. It's above 6k. Grave Robber's at level 2 now. Chef's Cash is about to get maxed out. Can we do it? Golden Brick Road Fragment? Oh my god, bro. We are... Fishing is OP. All fishing fragments have reached their maximum level. You will no longer receive this type of skill and fragment. Your chef's catch fragment is now level three. All from 81 fishing. That's sick, man. Let's carry on with the progress. All right, and that is Tree's Deeth dead or whatever. Luckily, we did not get some Mazhar RNG on that. We managed to do it in one trip. Let's get out of here. And that is a haunted mine completed. 25 league points. Let's go. 72 strength. Damn, I didn't even know it gives strength XP. What the fuck? All right, I'm going to start working towards Horror from the Deep, which means I need to do the Bar Crawl or whatever. So I'm going to unlock Range now anyway, so I don't forget to do it later. 20 of these little points. I've only got 34 left. Uh, we are at 3255 five points. We did just get a toss done for doing the Haunted Mine. You know, shout out Runelight, man. Put it in Quest Helper for uh, the Bar Crawl. It should take like two minutes. All right, Bar Crawl done. I don't know exactly what I need to start Horror from the Deep. I just, oh, the Barbarian Outpost Agility Quest is a 25 point toss. Nice. 3280. Sit down, Dagonoth Mother. Sit down. Horror from the Deep completed. Let's go. What's my range level? 44. 70 Mage, too. Reach 1,000 total level. 25 points. Let's go. 3305 now. Alright, that's the Golem completed for 5 points. 1k crafting XP, 1k thieving XP as well. Uh, we can move on to Shadow of the Storm now. And that is Agrith Nar down. That should be Shadow of the Storm completed. I'm going to put this into range because I'm still very low range. At level 55 now. Shadow of the Storm completed. 55 range and 25 league points from that. Nice. Five points for lighting a torch. Didn't do that earlier. Cool. Okay, and that is Spirits of the Elid completed. That's 25 points right there. I'm pretty sure if I pray here, that's another 25 points. Is it? It is. We are now at 3390, and I just got 54 prayer off of that. Nice. And you're hyper chilling. Ecumenical key already. Second kill. Let's go. Let's go. That's 25 points right there. 3420. Let's go. Another ecumenical key. We can get the hell out of here and make our way to revs. All right, so we have our Alchemaniac Relic on, which is at 5k out of 8k XP, so it is level 2. So I received 30% more gold when high alking. So honestly, I probably didn't even need to get two Ecumenical Keys, because I already have some GP too. But, you know, the more GP, the merrier. So, cost high, level high alchemy, 18k to 98k, just like that. Yeah, that's a lot of GP, dude. But that means we can buy some more Nats and have a good time at revs. It does cost 100k to enter revs, so really, we only have 78k. Oh, I never even opened a looting bag. What the hell? 25 points. I never even did that. 3, 4, 4, 5. Okay, and we're set up at Reverend Pyre Friends. The hope is to make enough GP that I can just run around the map alking while I do a bunch of other stuff and just unlock all the mage uh, tasks just like that. Gets like 94 mage, even 96. So yeah, let's kill some revs. Let's make some GP. Yo, my arcane conduit fragment is now level 3. That means I save 90% of my runes, right? Yo, that's going to be sick for MM2. Equip a bracelet of Ethereum. 25 points. Come on, son. What are you giving us today, Mr. Combat Fragment? Oh, Unholy Wizard. 1.7 out of 8k. 6k out of 8k in my Alchemaniac fragment. Oh, come on now. This kid is so gonna attack me, isn't he? He's in Mystics, bro. Carl Vinland. Okay, thank god he didn't. 
<laughs> Bro, what a cuck. Dude, he's poisoning me. I'm gonna try and juke him. Oh, he's running with me, bro. Like, what a cuck. Oh, my. So luckily when you do die to a PK on leagues, you don't actually lose anything. So I can just go run and pick it all back up. So obviously I'm going to give the PKers a little flame. Come see me on the real game. No way is there another PKer, bro. This guy has flames of Zami now. Another combat fragment. What are you giving us today, good sir? The Unholy Ranger fragment. That's new. Interesting. What does that do? Unholy Ranger. Better range accuracy. 30% with range attack accuracy increases 30% with zero prayer points left. 100% with zero prayer points left at level 3. Damn, okay, that's actually pretty good. Okay, I've lost my skull. I've got 170k in this inventory, and I've got, like, maybe 350k in the bank. Should be enough for now. If we need to come back, we can. I want to start working towards Monkey Madness 2. Now, I'm not going to do all the quests for it. I can just auto-unlock it, but I want to. I do want to do Eyes of Gloffrey just for the amazing runecrafting XP that it gives. So I am going to go get in some unlocks. I do need construction to go do Eyes of Gloffrey, and it does cost 30 to unlock, so this is pretty costly. But hey... It do be what it do be. And then we'll also unlock uh, rune crafting as well for like 10 points. We're only going to have 13 renown after this, but there is a lot of tasks I have left. There's a lot of stuff I can do. And we're really going to fly up the task today. So let's unlock rune crafting. Only uh, 13 fragments left, but when we don't want to unlock MM2, we'll go punch out a bunch of tasks. Skill and fragments. Enchanted jeweler, one out of 8k. And I've got my mud rune. Let's go. And that is the Eyes of Gluffery completed, 46 runecrafting, 80 construction, 80 construction, 18 construction. Absolutely do take those. 1,100 total now as well, and 51 woodcutting. 75 magic too. I just entered the Warrior's Guild, which is another 25 points. I'm just going to buy my 10 trout here because I'm doing Death Plot 2, Troll Stronghold, and then I'll do Tourist Trap so I can auto unlock DT. That is Death Plot 2 completed, and I got a Combat Fragment off of it too. Oh, I've required all the fragments for the last recall set effect. You can collect the Crystal of Memories from the Sage and Cathary. That's huge. I don't know if you guys remember last recall from last leagues, but basically if you teleport from anywhere, you can click last recall and it takes you right back. That's huge. Dude, my Alchemaniac is 7.3 out of 8k. That's nice. Okay, and that's the Troll General down. No deaths there. Oh, defeat a Troll in Asgarnia is a task too. Nice. We're at 3,500 clean now. Let's carry on with this quest. Uh, we're also at 76 magic. We're just Alkin as we go along. That is Troll Stronghold completed as well. Let's move on to the Tourist Trap. Damn, I just leveled up my Deeper for Pockets Fragment to level 3 too. Oh, I need to unlock Fletching for Tourist Trap. I don't have 10 Fletching. No, I don't even have 20. Oh, I don't even have 20. Fuck it. Oh, it's all gone horribly wrong. Damn, Enter the Ranging Kill was a 25 point task. I didn't even know that. All right, Studded is another Renown. To get some more tasks, then we get a U Shortbow and a Maple Shortbow. U Shortbow, 25 points, a 2 Renown. And a Maple Shortbow is 5 League points and 1 Renown. 3560 and I can actually now unlock fletching which is nice. This should be 10 fletching. Nice. Okay, let's go finish tourist trap now. Kind of forgot about that. Another skill and fragments. Enchanted jeweler is now at 1.5k. Another skill and fragment. Enchanted jeweler is now level 2. Cool. Tourist trap done. Now I just need to go bang out a bunch of tasks so I can unlock DT and MM2 and then I'll go burst my way to greatness. Curran Castle Teleport, which is 50 points. I hadn't even done that yet, and that's, what, three Sages Renown points? We're just saving up to do DT and MM2 right now, so that's nice. Enter the Cook's Guild for 25 points and two Renown points. Thank you very much. Okay, that should be a medium toss for making a Steel Bar, so that's another 25 League points and some more Renown. I think I need 45 to unlock both DT and MM2, but I'm now at 3660. Making one Emerald Ring is a medium toss, too, for two Renown and 25 League points. And making a ruby amulet is exactly the same too. I don't know if I need to put a ball of wool on that though. Yeah, maybe I do. Maybe I do. Let's ball of wool you up. And that is an... Oh, that's a medium toss too for 25 points. We're now at 37.10. 13 out of those 45 renown points. Smith a steel plate body should be another 25 points. And two sages renown just like that. Come on. Toss it to us. Yeah, there we go. 37.35 now. Craft a leather body should give me uh, one renown at least. Yeah, nice. Okay, and that is smithing 150 iron arrow tips, which is another renown of 5 league points. Smelt an iron bar, that's another renown. I'm 18 out of 45 now. Catch an anchovy, that's another one. Pickpocket a ham member, that's another renown. Okay, that's another renown. Equip full myth is another renown. We're at 22. Okay, that's a herring, another renown. Smelt a bronze bar is another renown point that I didn't get before. 
Okay, and if I mine with a steel pickaxe, that should give me another toss completion and another round point. Yeah, it does 25 out of the 43 we need now. Cut a sapphire is another five point and one renowned task, 26. Entering the crafting guild should be what, two renowned points? Yeah, it's a medium task or whatever. Uh, We're at 3815 now. Craft a snelm, we're at 29 renown. Defeat a tazar, oh, it gave me a combat fragment too, but that's five points. 30 out of the 45 now. I just got 500 XP in the slay and play fragment. All right, that's the cook's assistant done, which means I should be able to use a lobster on this range and get a point just like that, Plus, Yo. All right, 31 sages renown now. This mage relic is really overpowered. At this point, I'm saving 90% of all my runes, so I could literally just bring uh, blood spells to go do the lost, the lost tribe, the lost city, and kill this tree spirit really, really quickly. Let's go finish that up. I think it'll give us 50 points. Should get 25 points for just entering Xanaris, and that is the lost city completed. Very, very nice. 91 quest points, 34 renown. I just got a random fragment, a miscellaneous one. I unlocked the clued in fragment. What's that about? Enemies drop clues consistently. Enemies that drop clues drop them at a rate of 1 in 30. Okay, so whenever I'm doing any sort of monsters, killing any monsters, I should have that on. Okay, and that is Vampire Slayer completed, which is another renown point. We're at 70 attack off of that, too. Okay, Tortoise Rider's down. That is another renown. We're on 36 now. My Alchemy Alchemaniac Fragment is now maxed out, level 3. Okay, using this bank should be another renown point. We're at 37 now. Okay, I need to get one more renown point. Okay, we need to get our little fancy boots. Um, should I get fancy boots or fighter boots? I'll get some fancy boots, and I think that is a task. Five points, 39 sage renowns. Let's unlock DT. Okay, and let's unlock desert treasure for 24 out of these 39 renown points. There we go. You have completed all quests in desert two. We have DT unlocked. Let's see how much it costs. If there's any, if there's any way we can also unlock MM2 without having to cast any of these spells real quick. I doubt it though. Um, where is it? Monkey Madness 2 now. We need 23 points, which is perfect, because I'm about to go get 8 of them. Okay, let's switch to Ancients. And the first task we're going to be doing is the Padawa Teleport, which should give us 3 Renown points, if I'm not mistaken. 15 to 18, yeah, and 50 League points. Let's cast an Ice Burst on this giant spider. That is another 3 points. We're at 21. And if I cast an Ice Rush, we're at 23. Is that, wait, is it 23 or 24 that I needed? Please don't be 24. Please don't tell me I messed up. Gnome 2, 23. Okay, perfect. What can I say? My mathematics is absolutely perfect, and we are unlocking Monkey Madness 2. Damn, I'm looking kitted, bro. Looking ready to go PK. Two frag- You can't do this while in combat, huh? So I don't even know what these are. Oh, slay and play. I unlocked the bottomless quiver fragment. I have no idea what it does, and I'm eating cookies, but yeah. My unholy wizard fragment is now level 2. Oh, I unlocked the unholy warrior fragment. I just want to kind of put this in perspective really quickly. I've been here for less than an hour. I'm already 83 mage. If I use this uh, ice blitz right now, it is another task which gets me three renown points and 50 league points. But more so than the stats I'm getting from this, the reason I'm actually doing this is just to get all of my relics and fragments all the way leveled up. As you guys can see, I'm receiving so many drops for unidentified fragments for combat and mis miscellaneous. And they're just leveling up everything. Like my enchanted jeweler is leveling up, my slay and pay is leveling up, my clued in. Uh, I just got the Unholy Ranger. I just got another fragment right then and there. Let's see what this one is. Like, it's just it's just so good. People did this on- people like doing MM2 on DMM because it's one of the best way to get drops. And it's exactly the same on here. Best way to get the relic drops. Farming the relics as you go. We're 6k out of 8k on the Slay and Pay. 4k out of 8k on the Enchanted Jewel. Oh, we just got another fragment too. But I just got level 3. I just maxed out my Golden Brick Road fragment. Which just gives me a fuck ton of GP whenever I get a Marks of Grace as well. 1.5k out of 8k on my bottomless quiver too. I literally just got that here. Okay, so I banked really quickly because I don't actually have to use Ice Burst here. I can use my highest spell, which is right now is Smoke Barrage. But casting a Shadow Barrage is another 3 points. Casting a Smoke Barrage is 3 points. Those are both two hard tasks worth 50 points and 3 Sages Renown. So we now have 9 Sages Renown again. Let's get to Burston. Skilling, Enchanted Jeweler, 6.5k out of 8k and a Miscellaneous. 500 XP in my clue in. Nice. Oh, my Chinchonkers Fragment is now level 2, too, as well. Nice. I need to get level 3, though, please. Okay, kind of forgot the fact I'm already 92 Mage, so I can, in fact, cast a Blood Barrage for another... Oh, 125 points. Now, that's an elite task. 4,285 points. There's another one when I get to 94 Mage, I think. Congratulations, you've unlocked Mother's Magic Fossils Fragment. What the hell? Damn, I just completed a hard task for maxing out 10 Fragments, because my Enchanted Jewelry is now level 3. Dude, Monkey Madness 2 is fucking OP. Oh shit, when did I get 94 mage? Oh, a while back. Let's chuck an ice barrage for the one time. Actually, let's switch to ice barrage. What am I even saying, bro? Um, that's an elite toss done. 
Four, four, sixty now, Jesus. 20 renown points just like that. So we did get a bunch of those points that we spent. Achieve your first level 95, another 125 points. Four, five, eight, five now, we've got 24 renown. And we get another task and one more level. Hopefully we can make it there with these runes. And that is Unholy Wizard uh, maxed out too. 8k out of 8k. And I just maxed out the Unholy... And I just maxed out the Unholy Ranger Fragment too. Nice. My bottomless Quiver Fragment is now level 3-2. I'm maxing out everything. My Unholy Warrior Fragment is now level 3-2. Okay, I tried using the Gorok Tele. That's what it was last league. But apparently you can create teleport tabs now. Did not know that. But that is 125 points for creating a Gorok Teleport Tab. 4,710 points now. Let's break this shit. Yes, I did. Okay, whoa. Defeat Scorpia. I also completed a hard toss, one hard combat achievement. I did not realize that. Puts me up to 4785, just like that. I will absolutely take that. I just got five Sages Renown, just like that. Enter Sophonim, that's a medium toss too. That's 25 points right there. Okay, and that is a Scarab Mage, which is another medium toss for another 25 points. What are we at now? Uh, 4835, 4835. Bro, I got the Ancient Emblem worth 500k. I swear to God. 500k. You've completed a hard task. Cast a search spell. Let's go. I hit a 22, bro. I'm so much stronger than you. Okay, that 500k drop couldn't come at a better time because I actually wanted to go unlock all the mage spells and that'll give me a big chunk of points. I don't know that I can do mage cape 2 yet, but just unlocking the spells and casting them outside the arena will be a big chunk of points. Claws of Gothics, Flames of Zami, and the other one, whatever it's called. Um, and we're now at 4960 points, just like that. Okay, there's a toss for Fletch and 150 Iron Arrows. Willow Shortbow with a bowstring. That is Fletcher Willow Shortbow for 25 League Points. We're at 4,990 now. Okay, and this is equip a full Adamant set for another 25 points. We're now over 5,000 League Points. One of the only people over 5,000 League Points. 5,050. So with less than 40 hours playtime, we completed over 270 tasks and got to Tier 5 with over 5,000 points, placing us as rank 17 on the high scores today, under the one and only Wooks who's playing on the RuneScape name can't log in. But I edited it to just say Wooks in the thumbnail to get some more clicks out of you guys. Subscribe for more. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully higher on the leaderboard.